Ah, <sighs> you guys, I just dropped my kids at school, but I have a huge pile of clothes to fold. Like a huge pile. This is this is not even up to. This is like one. <laughs> this is like once one. one uh, what would I call it now? One portion or one uh, category. I still have two other baskets of cl clothes to fold, and that's because. My husband does the laundry, like he does the washing and stuff while I do the folding. And I have been slacking with the folding for the past few days, or even weeks, not weeks, but the past few days I've been slacking with the folding. So they've just been piling up and him doesn't send though. Even if he sees that there are so many unfolded clothes, he will just bring all of them out and keep one side for me and keep washing. Although sometimes though, if I'm slacking with it, he will take the kids, then they will carry all their clothes. Um, I mean, him, he normally folds his own clothes most times, but the kids he'll just carry all of them and say oh yeah you take your clothes take your clothes take your clothes go and start folding anyhow they fold the he doesn't mind but me because i want to do it my way i'll not be piling up the work he's not like what's now the point so sometimes they'll just take their clothes remove them but my own clothes they'll just keep it pretty for me in one corner and me i wear a lot of clothes because i film videos like hair videos and stuff so i'm always wearing clothes but left for me this is what i'll be wearing almost all day you guys, I'm wearing sweater, I tied my hair because I am cold. You know, I told you guys that I was, I, I went to the hospital and they did tests for me and, and they told me that my iron levels were very low. I even did an, I even did a home test. Like I bought a test kit from Amazon and I did the home test and the result came out and the result was abnormal, right? So like my iron levels are very, very low. So I was now wondering, because when I took this at-home test kit, it was weeks after the hospital did the test for me, right? So I was like, ah, I've been taking, and the truth is that I've been taking iron medicine even since Nigeria. Like it's something I take almost every day, almost, I used to forget sometimes, okay? That's on weeks I'll forget, but for the most part, almost every day I take iron supplements. I always buy in bulk from Boots, right? By bulk, I mean like two packs and stuff like that. So I was like, but what exactly? I wanted to like get to the bottom of it, right? Because I eat well-ish, okay? I'm not really a fan of meat like that. If you know me, you know, I, I, I don't really care for meat. Like, it's not like I don't like meat, though. I like meat, but, you know, to eat meat in bulk or eat too much meat is not my cup of tea. Like, I get tired of meat easily. All of us in this house, basically, you never see us carry a big plate of meat and start eating. I get tired of meat easily. But I was trying, after they diagnosed me with that, thing, I tried to increase my intake of meat. Sometimes I'll be eating meat self, like, saying a punishment, you know, just so that I'll get my blood levels up. So when I now did the at-home test, I was just like, okay, what is the problem? I was like, is it that irrespective of what I do, I'm just going to continue having low iron levels? I was like, no, I need to get to the bottom of this, right? Because I've been feeling the symptoms more severely in recent times. Like, I'm always cold. And the cold comes and goes, and it's inside my bones. It's not the kind of cold. It's not even a surface cold, per se, right? It's not a surface cold. It's, it's inside my bones. My It's to feel like my bones are rattling, or what the, what's the word? yeah it's inside my bones right my hands and my feet are always cold i'm always lethargic or you know low energy and stuff like that so i was like you know what let me get to the bottom of this and i went back again to youtube and started researching causes of low iron um how to treat low iron and i started checking um i, can't, I don't know how i got to this right but i know that I, I check different i use different search criteria to check for what could be wrong I now discovered that when you are taking iron supplements, you are not supposed to take milk. Because as in, you're not supposed to take milk. They said, okay, from what I saw, I saw different conflicting, like not conflicting, I saw different variations of the information. Everybody agrees that you shouldn't be taking milk if you're taking iron supplements, right? So they said, I, where the calcium in the milk, I mean the milk binds the iron so it doesn't go into your bloodstream, right? So that's what they said. I now saw some people that said, if you want to take milk, take it at least two hours before you take your supplements. Okay? At least two hours. What some people say, oh, don't take milk. What some people say, you can take milk in the morning, but take your supplement at night or in the evening. That kind of thing, right? So, but basically, everybody agrees that when you are taking iron supplements, you shouldn't take milk. Okay? Now, guess whose favorite dessert <laughs> is yogurt? <laughs> But let's even forget about the yogurts because at least yogurt let's forget about the yogurts right can you guess what your sister uses to take her, her supplements all my supplements basically can you just take a wild guess <laughs> 
I don't know why this is funny to me. Can you take a wild guess what this madam here has been using to take her, her supplements? You guys, when I want to take my supplements, without fail, every single time I have to take my supplements, like every single time, I go and make tea. Okay? I go and make coffee. So it's either I make coffee or I make tea. And it's not black coffee or eh, 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 what they call all those teas, all those they are flavored teas. Or, eh, eh, I mean normal black tea, you know, English tea, breakfast tea, whatever, and normal coffee. I make my coffee, add enough milk. Because I don't like the taste of medicine, you know, I don't even like the taste of using water to take medicine. I don't like it. So I've been using milk. Like literally, it's not even like I always take it two hours before. Literally using milk to take the supplements. So me, I feel like that's the reason why my situation got bad, right? That's what I feel. And I take milk a lot. In fact, milk is one thing that I need to stop because I actually take a lot of milk. I drink tea. I used to drink tea every single day. I used to. I've stopped now. Now, what I did was, because I can't use water, I'm sorry. I went and made Zobo. So please tell me in the comment section you know, if there's something inside Zobo that contra indicates, <laughs> that is contra indicated for iron supplements. Let me know if I'm causing more harm than good. But anyway, yeah. You guys, please go and follow me on TikTok so that I can have access to TikTok shop. Okay, I just need to have access to TikTok shop <laughs> because I've been buying a lot from TikTok shop and I know that if I have access to the shop, I think you have to have like a minimum of a thousand followers or is it 10,000? I'm not sure. But even if it's a thousand, I think I'm almost there, right? I opened a new TikTok. Oh, I have more than a thousand on my Nigerian TikTok, but I had to open a new UK TikTok so I'll have access to the TikTok shop because I buy a lot from there and I would love to come and review those products for you guys and you guys can use my code or my link and buy those products if you want okay so please i'll leave the link in my description box so that you guys can just go and follow me there and i'll make sure to look for very nice products and bring to you guys because on tiktok shop a lot of products are actually cheap cheaper than they would be on let's say amazon okay i think tiktok shop and sheen uh, some products are actually cheaper on TikTok shop than they are on Shein, right? But you know, Shein has some discounts and stuff that might help. But I've seen some products on TikTok shop that I did not see on Shein. So that's why I'm like, you know, I can bring those ones to you guys as well. Anyway, let me show you guys this pair of pants that I bought from TikTok shop and I love it, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see me clearly. The camera is quite far. I can't really see you guys well. But anyway, these are ribbed high waist pants from tiktok shop with flared bottoms and they look really good they are so stretchy i this is 2x they said 2x is for 18 size 18 16 and 18 i know i've lost weight okay i've lost it my bum bum has even disappeared <laughs> i need to go and start walking out so that at least my bum bum will have shape small because my bum bum has disappeared but anyway and my tummy too i need it i need to my tummy has reduced but my have, I still have extra skin and stuff, right? So I need to work out. But anyway, let me show you guys these pants very well. Yeah, if you are someone like me who is tall, these pants are actually tall enough or long enough, you know, to just... Can you guys see this? Yeah, the pants are long enough. And I love how high waist these are. Like, this is real... Can you guys even see me? Well? I'm not sure. But anyway, this is real high waist. It's real like high waist i like it I like it. <laughs> so yeah go and follow me on tiktok shop so that anytime i get pants like this the reason why i like these pants is that i can wear it anywhere i can wear it to go out i can wear it to work out i can wear it to lounge at home it's very comfortable very 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 soft very comfortable it's ribbed so you can wear it in cold weather it doesn't feel like sheer or anything it's very thick if you're someone like me and you wear regular leggings sometimes all those satellites and stuff can show if the leggings is quite sheer but this one is very thick and very nice so it kind of you know smoothens everything so if you want to wear this to work out because part of the reason why i bought it is that i want to start working out okay you can do any squat stretch eh. <laughs> <laughs> you can squat. Let me come front. You can squat, squat, squat. And yeah, I seen this. Your bum bum will not show. If you are someone who has big bum bum, I think 2XL is the largest, though. 
but this can actually go for someone who is size 20 you know yeah size 20 can actually wear this you know even if you do like this and all that it still stays pretty much here because most of my workout outfits even though they are high waist in quotes sometimes the front will be here but the bum bum by the time i just bend like this the bum bum will reach here <laughs> and your pants will start showing that's why i like this very extremely stretchy extremely stretchy i like it so yeah if i see the link for this one i'll put it sharp even though it's someone else that will go and be making the money from it i'll still put the link for you guys but please follow me on tiktok so that i can get access to things like this for free okay because i bought it with my own money but i can get access to things like this for free and i'll be able to come and show you guys so that you guys can go and buy if you like it but yeah i love it today is thursday my kids are in school except sophia who is in my room now watching tv and eating chips any day sophia is at home let me tell you what sophia does any day she's at home every five minutes i want popcorn i want chips i want egg flat egg that's what she calls fried egg i want flat egg i want yogurt i want food i want chicken yesterday night i asked her what do you want to eat she said i just want chicken i was like wow i thank god for you my dear daughter <laughs> I thank God for you, my dear daughter. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. So today is the first day I'm starting at a new gym. Like, I've not been to the gym in a while. And I found a gym that is purely for personal trainers, okay? So they don't do like normal gym here. You can't just walk in and come and use the equipment. You have to be assigned to a personal trainer and you have sessions, okay? So you have to come in for your sessions. You can't just come in anytime you want, okay? You book your sessions online and you come in so i love it because even though it's quite pricey to be honest it's expensive right but i love it because i want results i want to have a personal trainer that i will be account ac accountable <laughs> that i'll be accountable to because i mean i've tried it in the past to just register in the gym and just go there and be doing what i feel like doing and it has never worked and i'm not really after cardio because if i want to do cardio i can stay in my house and skip i can walk you know on the road or whatever i can jump if i want to do cardio i don't want to do cardio i want to do more of weightlifting weight training um just general fitness but basically i want to start doing weight training because i want to build my muscles because even though i've been losing weight i feel like it's not the healthy way because i haven't been exercising or training and i feel like what i'm seeing go down on the scale might actually be my muscles which is quite scary to think of so that is why this angle is so terrible <laughs> so that is why i decided to just go for it um i found a gym that i can walk to but i can also drive to it okay so it's not I, I don't have to pass that main road i was scared of the last time even though because they've blocked a particular road i had to pass main road today but i know that once that road is unblocked i don't have to be passing highway that's just that has just been my um issue with the whole thing so i'm excited i'll give you guys an update after i'm done with my session today my coach told me to write down everything i've been eating to be honest i forgot to send it to him and I was even skeptical writing it down because I haven't been eating the healthiest. Like, I've reduced what I eat a lot, but I'm not, like, sticking to a very healthy diet. But I'm just going to be honest and write everything out for him so that he can now tell me what to remove and what not to remove. Even though I know, but I don't want to, I don't want to come across as an I too know. <laughs> When he was telling me everything, you know, you have to take more protein, you have to cut down on carbs, you have to cut down on sugar. I was like, dude, I can write you a whole meal plan that, in fact, you go shock. So, but I don't come across as, I don't come across as an I too know, so that I don't miss out on new information or information that can help me or discourage the guy from even, you know, trying to help me the best way he can, right? So I want to just act like a novice, like, oh, really? I shouldn't be taking coke? Wow. I didn't know. I didn't. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated after today. The the gym wear I'm wearing, I don't I don't really like it. I feel like the trouser is going down too much. The top is going up too much. So it's like my midsection is just going to be out while I'm exercising, and I have to just keep pulling and pulling. But anyway, it's um no worries. Uh, I'm going in now. I'll talk to you guys later. <sighs> you guys, I'm home now. It was a struggle driving home. Like it was a struggle. I don't even think I'll drive I'll drive there next time. Maybe I should just walk down and walk back. What am I saying? Walking is <laughs> walking is going to be stressful. 
but i am feeling so weak first of all when i got to the gym i was like are you people allergic to colors everybody was wearing black on black on black i'm like okay me i'm wearing <laughs> multicolored scarf i'm wearing a pink um um sports shirt or whatever gym set that is this one is pink the bottom is burgundy my shoes are white pink and sky blue and a little bit of and gray it's actually mostly gray but it has sky blue and pink designs my cup is pink and green and blue right so tell me why everybody there was wearing black on black on black uh -uh. people should spice up your life add some color to your life but aside that everybody there was fit i felt like a hippopotamus <laughs> i felt like a an elephant you know amongst uh, 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 giselles and <laughs> obviously most people there are i was new right as in i'm the i think i'm the only person that is new there most people there have been coming there before everybody was fit everybody flat tummy tummy like wall straight flat tummy well me my tummy was just doing yapu yapu i was just struggling with the with the with my you know i told you guys that my top was going up my trouser is going down so i was just struggling with it i don't know if it's that the trouser is no longer my size maybe i should go i should size down or whatever or it's just the shape of the trousers because to be honest around my thighs is quite tight but around my bum area is just loose anyway most people there we are leper that's that's the point then this guy the trainer told me that because i'm a mom i have three kids and you know i have to work and take care of them he's not going to do too much for me like i won't start with too much i'll just do little here and there and then build up on it right tell me why this guy's little here and there has left my arms feeling almost useless hey <laughs> like i'm even struggling to hold this camera off my arms are weak my legs are weak i was just walking to the car slowly i got to the car it took me like 10 minutes before i was able to just put on the car and drive off my arms are weak. I'm so tired. And mind you, he was telling me, don't worry, just take your time. I was taking my time. Oh. I was doing it, you know, at the pace that I could do. And I'm weak like this. So imagine if I had just gone to a regular gym and said, let me just do whatever that person is doing or something. It would have been disastrous for me. But anyway, I enjoyed my session. You guys, I'm back now. But I don't want to remove this jacket because I feel cold. So I can tell that the house is not that cold. But inside my body, I feel cold. Yeah, I'm going to wear a jacket for a while, but let me just clean up. I need to arrange some things here that I need to fix. This one has to go upstairs. Okay, so this jacket should be here. This is Cora's jacket. Um, this is their hoodies need to go. This is Ava's jacket. But the problem with this Ava's jacket is too light, so it needs to go. Then all their hoodies need to go so all these ones need to be washed i need to sweep the house by sweep i mean i need to vacuum yeah i need to vacuum all this time is 11 16. has my day not ended like this has my day not ended? <laughs> has the day not ended i just came back home. i just arrived please my day has ended already um these wellies we bought these wellies for Sophia a while ago, but she has never worn it. So I'm just going to put name on it and take it to her school just in case. But I don't think she needs it there. I wish I didn't buy it, yeah, because I never worn it. Oh no, she has, she has, she has. Well, maybe like once or twice. She actually has. There are some days that let me just keep it for her, Sha. Some days when they went to the backyard to play in the rain, she wore it. So let me just keep it. I need to take it to her school. Because in Eva's school, I had to drop um, wellies for her and raincoats because they play out in the rain. Even They go out to play even if it's raining. Let me go to the kids' room. Let me arrange their rooms, arrange my room. Then I'll come to the kitchen, do the kitchen. Then I'll now vacuum the whole house. Yeah. That makes sense even though my husband vacuumed over the weekend so the kids rooms are not that bad 
because their father always makes them arrange their room in the morning. <laughs> Sometimes even at night, you make them arrange their room before they go to bed, then arrange their rooms in the morning. So it's not that bad. I mean, Cora's bed is made, her table is okay. Every time, charging, charging laptop, let me unplug it. Then, what do I remove from here? This is cream. This is my cream. What's my cream doing here? Because people should use your own. So I started using this E45 cream. I've bought different types of it because they have different types. There's one for itchy. There's one for this. This is the itchy one. Itch relief. Um, this one contains urea and stuff. I use one for my whole body because of dry skin. Uh, but I think I'm going to... Once this one finishes... Although this one is expensive, or this itchy one is like itch relief one is expensive. But I think once I'm done, I'm just going to buy be buying this itchy one. I think I have like two more unused ones there. Once this one's finished, I'll just start buying only this itch relief one. Because this itch relief one is quite thick and I feel like it helps. I can't really tell you the difference it has made in my skin, no, but I feel like it helps. Um, yeah, so what we use, and now that we're entering the winter months, I'm going to also bring out my Ori. I still have Ori that I brought from Nigeria. I think I still have like five or six um, tubs of it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll bring out the Ori once, or even Vaseline, to be honest, I don't really care. Either Ori, Vaseline or oil, whatever. So that when you rub this one, then you seal with Ori or Vaseline or whatever. Anyway. So let me keep this one for Cora. Take my cream back. Cora is always leaving her towel inside her room. At least she has graduated. It's no longer on her bed. It's now on her drawer stuff. But still, um, this one is a bit damp. She wears this one to sleep. I think she wore it to have her bath, so it's damp. So I need to go and spread it somewhere. But her room is okay. No, what seems to arrange? The bed is done. I need to remove some of their clothes. Like these are gowns. I know they're not they're not about to wear these gowns anywhere soon. Because we are still entering the colder months. So I know they're not about to wear these gowns. So I need to remove the gowns and maybe any other gown that I feel like they will not wear. Although normally they don't wear they wear gown, wear pantyhose or leggings or tight or whatever. And then they wear jackets. So maybe I'll leave the other gowns. But these big flowy ones, definitely not wear it. Even some of my clothes that are hanging here. I know I'm not go wear them. This one is Ava's room. Same thing. Nothing much to do here. In fact, her room is even more arranged than... I think my husband did this one himself. Or maybe it's dead once I did it. This room is more arranged than I expected. But yeah, their rooms are good. Their rooms are all good. So my room is kind of where the work is. Because I just jumped up from the bed and flew out and i was still late okay i was still <laughs> i was still late like i still took my kids late to school but let me just arrange my bed now and then but the room overall is not that bad i changed these sheets yesterday so let me know i'm not changing sheets i'm just gonna flap it <clears throat> no this is my towel this is my towel that's my pillowcase this hobby Abby? Yeah, because I know they share pillow. <laughs> I know they share pillow. And it's for that reason that I always put a different because this is actually the matching pillowcase for this bed sheet. I always put a different pillowcase because I know they share. So yeah. Uh, I don't like it, it just gives me the ick. Doesn't mean that it's not like my husband is dead to anything, no. Doesn't drool or anything like that but i just don't like it my room is actually quite warm because my husband put the heater upstairs at 26 because of me because i complain tire <laughs> i complain tire um i'm going to change into this one this is my nightwear that i only wear to walk around the house i don't wear it to sleep anything let me keep this one here. So we're all good with this room. Time to do the kitchen. I think I think I want this thing. This one is the second of this. It doesn't have pockets, but it's the second of this. I bought these things on TikTok shop. Even though they this one I like it actually, it works. But you know, it's okay, Sha. Let me not even lie. It's actually okay. This one is a bit tight for me. 
So I wore this one partially this I wore it this morning and it was too tight and I removed it and I wore this one. But this one is okay. But these leggings, and these leggings, I bought it from Fab Feet though. I bought it from Fab Feet. The shape is weird. Let me go back and show you guys. The, sh the shape get a CV. I don't know if you guys can see this. What is this? See, what is this? So imagine at, at some point I was exercising the next thing, it was reaching, it was reaching always almost like this. Nah. And it's not long. Can you guys see this? It's not long. I'm just wear that leggings I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. But I was like, let me just actually I washed it and then it was a bit rumpled because it was in the dryer for too long. So I now folded it. I didn't iron it, but I folded it in a way that I don't like to stretch. I now kept it. So I wear that one on Wednesday because my sessions are Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So this box that I kept here, I don't know if you guys can see it. You can see it. Yeah, I have a box here. So what I do is that clothes I want to give out, I just fold them and put inside this box. Even my husband, I put it for everybody. So my husband's own are here, my own, they are here, then the kids' ones, they are here. So I'm just going to be folding and keeping, folding and keeping. Then when the box is full, I'll take it and go and donate it or I will... Um, yeah, that's, that's the only option actually. I can't do anything else. I've seen sites where you can sell your old clothes, but I'm like, oh, big, 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 big. Uh, so those ones are the ones that are going. So these ones, I'll go and keep them inside the storage. Let me just fold them first. There's a storage under Cora's bed that is quite empty. Actually, two two storage compartments under Cora's bed that are empty so I'm just gonna keep these ones there until or inside their drawer actually their wardrobe i mean their wardrobe has a compartment down that we don't we barely use just keep it when sophia grows because now sophia is wearing five to six and this is seven to eight so it's, she has a way to go i wish she wears six to seven i can't remember this one is my dress, it's not dirty. I think I'll be washed. Chocolate and caramel. Okay, all those are things I'm carrying downstairs. Um, I got that thing following me downstairs here. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, I think we need downstairs. Let me check this my children's bathroom. These are bathroom sometimes. They get us a baby. All their toothbrushes are so sticky. Yuck. Why is the toothbrush sticky? So disgusting. And these are electric toothbrushes. So why are they sticky? Sometimes I just take their toothbrushes and soak them inside vinegar, inside white vinegar. Soak it for a while and then wash it off. But ever since I got these electric toothbrushes, I don't think I've done that. I just changed the head. Because we bought um, we bought a set of electric toothbrush brush. <laughs> so we just changed the head whenever I just feel like this thing is, has gotten disgusting. But the body itself is sticky. It's almost like when they finish brushing their teeth, it, the, the, this thing will drop on the body. They'll just wash only the head and keep it back. Yuck. For Sophia, we help my hobby brushes Sophia's teeth in the morning. Um, I think he supervises the other ones too in the morning, but at night they brush by themselves. So only God knows how they brush that night nice brushing. And the thing with them is, my children can waste toothpaste. I'm sure the children think, sure. let me not talk like my own children are, are, are unique in that aspect. Well, my children can waste toothpaste. Huh. Like, <laughs> you don't want to try them when it comes to wasting. Hi, hi, Ella, Ella. Did you remove your seatbelt? No. Where is your seatbelt? Here. Sit properly. Oh, sorry, mommy. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, guys. <laughs> I am at a at an impost locker i'll show you guys soon so i'm here to send out some 
wigs that i want to give away so i'm going to i'm trying to types of delivery methods or companies or whatever i want to try royal mail and i also i've been using every evry evri so i've been using every for most of my delivery in fact for all my deliveries actually right but i want to try um royal mail especially for those that are going out of the uk right so some of my wigs are at home some of the wigs i want to give out to people outside the country they are at home and royal mail is coming today to come and pick them up i like that option the fact that they will come and pick it up and the fact that they will bring their label for me so i'll just put the label on the packages and then they'll just take it at home right so i love that option but for those inside the uk i use every i just go online put all the details of everything i want to send the addresses and stuff then i pay for it online and then they and then they give me the label i now print the label and then i attach it to the package an example i don't know i don't want you guys to see that's an example <laughs> so i'll just come here and it will scan the code i think i even have the code on my phone but anyway it will scan the code on the package and then a locker will open up and i'll just put the package there and then they pick it up from there and send it whenever so both methods are actually nice but i think i prefer the royal meal one even though i heard that royal meal takes longer to deliver stuff for things going outside the uk i don't mind but for things inside the uk i don't know if if royal meal is is um, if every is faster then i'll just stick to it because this locker is not like so far um from my house i can just drive down and come and drop it anytime i feel like dropping it yeah so that's the locker no you're just going to be here now you don't have to come down I'm not doing much now, and that's why I want to make sure I parked beside the locker. You don't need to come down and start removing seat belt and everything. I'll be looking for how to put you back. <laughs> Sophia, I'm not going to this shop. I'm going to this locker. I'm not going to the shop. I'm going to this locker. I don't have money for gummy bears. Do you have money for gummy bears? Do you have money? You can, you can just ask daddy to, to just... You can just go downstairs and just take the money. From where? From downstairs. From where? The, the coin jar? And you can just pay for it? No, the coin jar is for saving money. For saving all our coins. Okay. Why am I even talking too much, Seth? Okay. So, touch the start. I turn or send a parcel. Then, find nearby space in app. What the hell, man? So I tried to I tried to drop the package and it's saying no compartments available. Ah, I've never had this response before. It shocked me. <laughs> no compartments available. I guess that makes sense anyway. Many people would try this this morning. Is that not a? Okay, I thought that was a truck. Okay, no, I was thinking it was an uh, a post truck coming to pick up packages. So what do I do? Maybe I'll come back after school runs. When I pick the kids, I'll come back and check again. If I try at least twice today and it doesn't work, then I'll go and find the other compartment. But to be honest, I don't want to look for any other compartment. But let me just check, sure. So you guys, I want to give you guys an update on my fitness journey. <laughs> so I woke up this morning with serious body pains. My body is aching me, like my joints, my hands, my muscles, I can feel my muscles really tight. My thighs especially, because I did a lot of squats yesterday. So my thighs, eh, hey, I couldn't rub cream on my feet this morning, no. Like, I mean, I tried to, I ended up, I ended up rubbing the cream, but it was very, very painful. Just bending like this, my arms, 
are aching but i'm happy okay that i'm already on this path because i'm having the opposite um experience from people who lose weight by exercises so me i'm losing weight by watching what i eat by basically not eating by calorie deficit me i know that i'm not doing it the right way because i'm actually not I'm supposed to cut out some things from my diet. By the way, I cut out milk from my diet and I've stopped having um, psoriasis on my scalp. Okay, at least I've not had it since I washed my hair on... When did I wash my hair, Seth? Was it not Saturday? No, not Saturday. I can't remember. I washed my hair last week and since then I've not had those scaly things on my scalp. Like there's product build up where I can see that, oh, okay, the product I put on my hair is showing on my scalp. But the scaly stuff that used to come almost the next day like any day i wash my hair by the next day two days later that scaly stuff has come i've not had this since and that's because i feel low that's because i stopped taking milk okay because i've been trying this thing where i'll take milk i'll stop taking milk and i'll just see whether my scalp responds or you know anything changes with my scalp and since i stopped taking milk i noticed that i've stopped having that thing right skin updates my skin has stopped breaking out but my scars are, are there and normally before I don't used to have scars like this I noticed that after this um, bout of breakups I have, I break, not breakups, breakouts <laughs> after the breakouts I had here in the UK the scars have been there like very obvious scars but hopefully they go soon so what was i even saying yes i was saying that i'm having the opposite experience from people who lose weight by exercising because many of them complain that oh their scale is not moving the scale is not moving but their dresses are free they've gone down different cloth sizes but the scale is not moving basically when they climb on the scale their weight is almost the same or maybe they lose very very little compared to how they look okay now me my own is that when I climb the scale, the scale moves very well though. The scale moves very well. I'm over 10 kg down now, so the scale moves very well. But my clothes still fit almost the same. Yeah, my clothes still fit almost the same. So I now know for a fact that I have a lot of, maybe just, maybe water retention one, but also I've lost muscles, right? I don't have that much muscle mass, okay? I think that's a problem. So I'm not, I'm not lean. I've lost weight, but I'm not lean. So that is why I'm really going to take this my exercise Exercising very seriously, but one thing that happens to me and I don't know if anybody can relate is that whenever I start exercising my appetite increases So I'm trying to find a good balance um, That's part of why I'm not even going to be exercising every day because you know, it's not even going to be feasible like I need a day in between to recover but yeah, I need to still watch what I eat and try and increase my protein intake. I told you guys what I'm going through with protein intake. It's not easy, but boiled eggs are an easier way to get protein. For me, Sha, it's easier for me to eat boiled eggs than for me to eat like a plate of just meat. Yeah, let me even show you guys this outfit, right? If you guys remember when I bought this outfit, I bought it last, last, was it last year? No, this year, earlier this year. Okay, you guys just ignore this cap, eh? But yeah, so remember I bought this outfit from TikTok shop earlier this year and I showed you guys when I bought it, right? So this top was a little bit tight on me when I when I bought it there like I could wear it But it was a little bit tight. Okay now right now. It's okay. Like it's not too tight It's just fitted. It's fit. It fits the way it's supposed to fit right but for somebody who has lost over 10 kg, I was expecting the top to just be, you know, <laughs> I just enter the top like very easily. But no, right? So that shows that I still have a lot of fat or I don't have a lot of muscle and my skin is still a lot. Okay, so that's part of why I need to take my exercising seriously and hopefully i'll be able to come here one day and show you guys that ah see my clothes see space <laughs> i like see when they do that thing when they say see space in my clothes oh see space in my top i like when they do it oh look at this clip this one is just fitted properly what is a fine top shall i say fine, fine, fine top it's a fine outfit i like it and it's a fine trouser yeah you yeah you. 
So yeah. I bought two from TikTok shop then. I bought a blue one and this brown one. And yeah, I like it. TikTok shop is actually very nice. So I think I've gone back to what I was telling you guys in the beginning. TikTok shop is actually very nice and they're very affordable. I just need to start getting free things so I can come and be reviewing them. To start from the bed this morning, it was it was it was the grace of God. I mean, I know it's the grace of God for us to actually get up from, from sleep, right? But today's own, I needed extra grace to stand up not to wake up but to stand up from the bed or more my body was just paining me and to my, i wasn't telling my husband i'm not feeling fine <laughs> i was telling my husband i'm not feeling fine i don't know who will do school runs for me he was like hey yeah sorry and you still have to go tomorrow but he does, i don't have a choice because he had to leave for work early but anyway it's all good um thank you guys so much for watching this vlog I'll see you all in my next video! Yay! Yay! Bye!